And good evening, everyone. Thanks for clicking on WDTV.com. I'm Carrie Lingaliotis. And I'm Ben Katko. Here's your top stories we've been following all day today on 5 News. State regulators say a worker has been killed in an explosion in an EQT natural gas well pad. That's in Taylor County. And the Department of Environmental Protection tells us that blast happened this morning and killed a person who was working alone on Berry Run Road in Flemington. Now, we do know that the worker was contracted through Central Environmental, but we still don't know the worker's name. That person was trying to transfer brine from a tank into a truck. Now, an investigation on what sparked that explosion is now underway, but we do know that brine is the salty chemical laced water that gas drillers use to blast fissures into shale, allowing the gas to migrate up for collection. Now, some of the chemicals used in brine can be flammable. Pittsburgh based EQT says that explosion was not related to drilling. The site has been temporarily shut down. The U.S. Department of Labor is asking a federal judge to shut down a Barber County coal slurry impoundment because they say it's too dangerous for workers. They claim the owners of the 101 North Hollow coal refuse impoundment near Century aren't following federal laws and they're ignoring violations and fines. The Mine Safety and Health Administration labeled it a high hazard, meaning a failure could result in death. MSHA said the slurry wasn't certified for structural integrity for the last two years. And our U.S. Senator Joe Manchin will chair a subcommittee that oversees national mining policy and mining education and research. The Democrat announced his appointment today to the Senate Energy Subcommittee. He says this will give him a say in many issues that state residents care about. And besides national mining policy, this subcommittee on public lands, forest and mining has oversight over federal mineral leasing, lands administered by the Bureau of Land Management and U.S. Forest Service, and the committee also oversees the establishment of wildlife refugees on public lands and wilderness designations. Our state attorney general is joining other states that are challenging a section of the federal bankruptcy law. Media reports indicated that Attorney General Patrick Morrissey has also filed a friend of the court brief in the U.S. Supreme Court challenging New York's tough new gun law. The bankruptcy challenge involves the Dodd-Frank Act, a section of the, the law allows the federal government to decide which of a bankrupt company's creditors to bail out. Morrissey said the Mountain State holds investments in many institutions that could be covered by the so-called bailout provision. And as we mentioned, Morrissey announced the state is joining 19 other states to challenge a section of the New York gun law that requires residents to show a particular need before they can get a concealed weapons permit. When Mountaineer Challenge Academy students were reunited with their parents for the first time in five weeks today, they got some unexpected big news this afternoon. That's right. For the first time in the program's history, the cadets will now have a chance at obtaining a traditional high school diploma from their own local high school. Now, this is all from the collaboration with the West Virginia National Guard, the West Virginia Department of Education, and the Mountaineer Challenge Academy. For the, cad for the cadets obtain the diploma, they will have to go through three-step programs that includes passing the GED, completing the challenge, classwork, and work keys level four. Students, parents, and staff were very excited to hear today's big news. We found out on Sunday at an interim committee meeting uh, with the legislature, and we've just been over the moon ever since. This is a, a goal, a professional goal achieved, and we're thrilled to be able to offer this to the students of West Virginia. And the Academy hopes, hopes that today's news boosts enrollment numbers and gives high-risk kids in the state a chance at a high school diploma. All right, let's take a quick peek at what we're working on in the newsroom for Fox 10 at 10 and 5 News at 11 tonight. We're working to find out more about that gas well explosion in Taylor County that left a worker dead this morning. Whenever we find something else out, we'll let you know. Plus, we're going to take you to a special remembrance ceremony for a fallen Mon County Sheriff's Deputy, Sergeant Michael Todd May, who was killed in the line of duty nearly one year ago today. And of course, that's what's making news this evening. Be sure to tune in to Fox 10 at 10 tonight with Carolyn Galliotis and 5 News at 11 with myself for the latest news and weather. And until then, have a great night.